Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and this is The Box, number three. Franz Foamworks monthly box of stuff for modders by modders. This month, we, of course, as you can see, have a knockout kit. This is the Redux kit designed by James Price and Dr. Flux. Dr. Flux is the sponsor, so you will be getting a Dr. Flux patch. The full build guide will also be on his video on his channel. Should be out by the time these actually get shipped out to people. So if you're not already subscribed to him, you definitely should be because he is awesome. And that's where you'll get the build guide for this video. I did a build guide, but then it turns out I wasn't supposed to. So you won't be seeing that today. But it does mean I know how to actually build it and how difficult it is. So, what will you be getting in this box? You will be getting this full kit. Blaster included if you choose. So, without the blaster, it is $45. With the blaster, it is $52. So, seven extra dollars for the blaster. Not a bad price. The downside is you don't get to pick the color. Uh, they all have a limited number of red and blue, and so it will be randomly determined. Also, the color of the 3D printed parts will also be random because Dr. Flux is involved. Now, I assume Dr. Flux is also why there is Flux capacitors all over it, which is just a cool feature. So, obviously mine came in random colors, and as you can see, I've already painted it. I actually was sent a blue um, knockout, but uh, it is currently drying. The paint is drying, so I'm showing uh, the unmodded one, because that is what you will be getting. So there is obviously some assembly required, and there are some tools required. If you got box number two, you have all of the tools. This was specifically designed so that the tools from that kit would be used in this one. Uh, you will need all of those tools, though there are other tools you could use that would make it a little bit easier, but you can build this using just those tools and all of those tools. Uh, the only thing that uh, that I have in here that wasn't in the kit is that the uh, this part and this part are held on with um, uh, hex bolts, so you might need an Allen key. I don't know if one is being provided. I don't believe so, uh, but that's definitely a tool you should, you should have in your toolbox. Go to any hardware store and get an Allen key set. Um, but there are some some shell cuts involved there You'll be cutting some of the stuff here Which can be done with the flush cutters that were provided in that kit and then this part these parts fill in that gap It fits beautifully. You obviously are going to have a brass barrel There's a three inch brass barrel and then this is a three round inline Magazine so this will be a three round blaster when it is done, which is fabulous There is some top rail which is not actually necessary structurally or anything like that, but it just really brings the design together, as you will see when I do the video on my modified one. Uh, you do get this little foregrip, which makes it a little bit easier to close the breech. It also is just comfy and cool little addition. It'll go on any Picatinny rail, so that's neat. And then, of course, you do get the modified replacement handle cap, which makes it look like an extended magazine, which just really looks very, very cool. Uh, it is a fairly simple build. It took me about an hour to build it while I was doing the mod guide. So I was showing every single step explicitly and, and going slow and all of that. And uh, it'll probably take you a lot less than that. Uh, I, I assume Dr. Flux's guide will help with that. I did cheat a bit and use a bandsaw rather than the flush cutters to make some of my cuts. But I did do some of the cuts with the flush cutter just to make sure that you could. And you absolutely can. Um, there is some stuff that you'll need to file. That kit did include a file. I forgot to mention that in the video because mine got stuck in the packaging. Um, but, yeah. Fairly simple build and uh, a beautiful little blaster. Now, I built mine and took it to the range, so let's show how well it performs. To the range! Alright, I am losing daylight, but hopefully I'll have enough time to get 12 rounds out. The new material for the walls for my range arrived today and I ordered some more material for additional netting along the top. Range should be getting done soon. I'm gonna need to come up with more targets for this close-in area, uh, but it should be pretty good. All right. Damn, how dare you? All right, let's see if I can hit the 25 with this thing. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, sir. Can I hit one of the bottles? Oh, a little low. All right, reload, reload. So to reload, very simple. Can you see? You just drop three darts in, and they go right into there. I don't know if you saw any of that. And then you close it. It is an inline clip, so you'll notice I'm giving a little flick just to seat that first dart into the actual chamber. Oh, it shoots beautifully. 
All right, let's go for the 50. Yes! 50 on the first try. Three more rounds. Try to show the reload process again. So you can see the chamber down in there. Just toss in your darts and they just settle right in there. Quite nice. All right, I want to hit a bottle. Let's see if I can hit a bottle. Oh, hit the base. A little bit higher. Oh, all right. Eh, one over here. I don't know where that went. Last reload. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Fifty. Yes! Fabulous! Oh, this is going in my half dart loadout. Yes. All right, few last things. I'll give you those FIPS. Get you some FIPS. Back to the shop for the FIPS. And now for the FIPS. 144. 147. 150. 133, 145, 143. Our local Nerf Wars caps at 150. That is magnificent. I will definitely be running this as a sidearm at some point. I am absolutely loving that. All right, back to the table for one last talk. Yeah, so it performed much better than I was expecting. The fact that I hit the 50 two out of two times uh, was remarkable, given that this doesn't have a scar barrel in it and has the stock spring. Um, you could obviously increase the spring and then make a longer barrel. You'd probably want something to then cover that. I think one of the previous kits included as the super secret item, uh, a little bit of an extra muzzle cover, which would be fabulous. And I'm pretty sure this was all part of that. Fox, stop Murder you, sir. Uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a wonderful build, neat little blaster. It's right at that sweet spot of under being under 150, which means it's allowed at my wars. I love the design. I love the blockiness of it. It's a really cool kit and definitely a good one for somebody just getting into modding because it involves a lot of techniques and requires all of the different tools, which will show you how they work and, and all of that. So definitely a good kit. The super secret part of this one, rather than it being a 3D printed part that you're not being shown here, is that two of the people will receive, instead of a parts kit, a fully assembled custom painted kit um, or, or blaster. And I don't know if that's something you can opt out of if you really wanted to do the build and didn't want to get one of those, you could probably send them a note and they would take you off the list. I don't know, it's worth asking. Um, but yeah, that is box number three. I hope people are interested in it. I hope this gets some people into modding and helps them do their first um, interesting build. I hope it gets people some really cool blasters. I'm certainly going to use it. I definitely like it. So I think it's awesome. Thank you guys for watching.